It is time to get rid of this old Trustmaster setup. We are gonna be changing all that today. Starting with this fancy sequential shifter by Moza, which we are not gonna be using it as a shifter. But most importantly, it has yes, two sir. buttons. So let me unbox it real quick over here. And here is the sequential shifter right there. The Moza new product over here. And you can see the two buttons on the shifter. Yes. But you do gotta take this knob and screw it on separately, which is pretty high quality. Now, Ghost, what about the wheel? Well, we have two wheels. One of the wheels is GSB2P steering wheel. It says push it to the limit. Uh, we are gonna be pushing it to the limit. And also, they did send me the separate dash as well. But as a sim dresser, I really don't need that. Uh, and we also have these three pedals, by the way. So we're gonna be using this exact setup on the screen, except the dash now it is in this fancy bag and here is the new fancy steering wheel reveal it is a pretty pricey boy all the knobs feel really tight and firm which is good it's high quality we have the carbon effect on the wheel as well we got these tiny joysticks on both sides and all the buttons are really well done like you can definitely feel the quality on the wheel this is definitely not the drift wheel we will be sim racing with the wheel now they did send me a budget version of this sim racing wheel as well which is that one which is a bit cheaper but it is still a lot of money and don't worry about the white buttons you can customize the buttons however you like it comes with a sticker pack basically and if even this is too pricey for you then there is even a cheaper version over here this is basically the r5 original wheel turned into an f1 wheel with a mod now here is the big boy the r6 16 Moza wheelbase with a lot of torque. We are gonna be using this today, ladies and gentlemen. And we're gonna peel off this sticker as well. Now you gotta make sure this thing is pointing to the right and it is center. And then you can install the wheel by just pushing it into the direct drive base. But that's not all. We're also gonna be changing out the shifter. Moza did send me an H shifter. Looks pretty neat over here. And we are gonna be putting it right there on the right of Bob, the ghost. The last thing to do is to change this Trustmaster handbrake into the Moza handbrake. Which actually is a sequential shifter. But we're gonna be using it as a handbrake. So let me set it up. And we're gonna test out the full setup right now. So uh, the only only way we can put this car to a real test is with a 1 million horsepower Supra. And we're gonna bring that right up. Now, I don't want to lose my hands. If I do crash, I've been told I gotta let go of the wheel. Because this is a R16. It can literally, and I mean literally, literally as in literally, rip off your hands. For example, if you put them over your, your fingers, definitely. It can rip them off. So we don't want that. Oh! God, I forgot. For a second, I forgot we had 1 million horsepower. Oh, goodness. Dude, the reverse is pretty fast, too. Oh, God. Am I going the right way? I don't know which gear I should be using. Third? I'm just trying to hold on to the wheel in a straight line. Only going 200, though. Uh, I think the gears are broken. I don't think I'm gaining any speed. Let me try higher gear. That doesn't work. I have no idea what... <coughs> All right, all right, I think we're good, boys. I think we're good. I'm gonna use the flumpy paddle. Okay, fourth gear, third gear. Here we go. We are, I think we're rolling now. My gears are going bananas. I can't go higher, boys. What is happening? And also, I can't control my wheel. I'm enjoying this. This is good. This is great. My monitor is almost falling off the table because my whole table is a... Uh, sh oh, God, that scared the living crap out of me. I don't see the reason in buying this unless you're a sweaty sim racer. Uh, at at least, at least buy the other one. Like, maybe if the other one looks too cheap, buy this one. Uh, this one, I think, it's still a lot of money. But, you know, Moza, I love you. But, I don't know. This is a little overkill. This is a little overkill over here. Now, let me, uh, let me slap on, uh, this round wheel. There we go. It's a good-looking wheel. We're gonna try out the new setup on c Torito's new track, by the way, guys. This track is by c Torito. One of the newest tracks. It's called Nexus City. And it is pretty wild. Kind of like Cyberpunk vibes over here. So, we're gonna try out the full setup. And let's see. First of all... 
The gears are, are strong. I gotta get used to that. Oh, the handbrake is so good, dude. It has such little travel and it's just full locks. I love it. That handbrake is actually better than Trustmasters. Mainly because it has buttons. But it's also such short travel. And also, you probably shouldn't be using the CQNG shift as handbrake. I am using it because it's just perfect. Maybe if their original handbrake would add buttons, I would probably use that. But uh, I don't know. I like the sequential one. Okay, we're gonna squeeze in here. Oh, God. Yeah, go struggling. Uh, by the way, if you're wondering, R16, it has probably 16 newton meters of torque or something like that. I'm using 18% of the wheel power. That should tell you how thick wheel that is. You don't need the R16. Guys, for drifting, R5 or even R3 is completely fine. Guys, only if you're like Jimmy Broadbent, like a sweaty sim racer in a good way. That's a compliment. Full time sim racer. Maybe you need the R, R12, R16, and R, R21. Otherwise, like for drift, you don't need it. But uh, Moza, thank you for sending all the all the wheels. But uh, Moza, even though you sent me the wheels, you ain't paying me. So I will be talking about some of the products. Uh, first of all, Moza, you need a proper table mount, like Trustmaster, okay? You need like proper table mounts that bring the setup closest to the, uh, to the people. What do you notice over here? Does anybody notice anything besides the sound? It wiggles. Now, why does it wiggle? It only wiggles because it's on a table setup. And I used it to mount in a weird way so it's closer to me. Uh, the handbrake, you know, that doesn't wiggle because Trustmaster has given us a nice thick table mount over here. Love that. The wheel, it should be adjustable, the height of the wheel. I kind of want to lower it. The age shifter. This is the Moza age shifter. And I have silences on as well. You can barely see it. It's called the silencer. It would be even more loud it is pretty loud though i guarantee you my neighbors heard that ghost what about pedals we got this it's a little dusty little dusty looking pedals but uh look at it i don't even know what is happening over here it's too much but i want to put this car to a test over here by the way guys I'm clicking the button on my sequential handbrake shifter. Guys, look at this. Clicking the button. Look at the headlights. Look at that. I have a button on my handbrake. Isn't that cool? Okay, we're gonna try to drift with this car. Going to third gear. Fourth gear. Dude, the flames. Okay, a lot of trucks over here. Oh, God, I'm sideways. I'm, si I'm so sideways right now. Look at this. Reverse entry, basically. Okay, here we go. Drifting. It's a lot of angle. Dude, the wheel is bigger as well. I'm like whipping it like crazy. Drifting is hard, boys. It's been a while. It's been months since I've used my direct drive wheels. And I'm already sweaty. My arms are weak. Mom's spaghetti. Maybe I'll try to do a 360. Right there. Wait, how did I do that? I didn't even I didn't even tap anything. I just did it. Boys, this is called skill. Skill right there. Okay, let me go into fifth gear. Okay, what is happening? Everyone is having skill issue in this lobby. Guys, where did you get your licenses from, eh? Anyway, let me get let me get out of here for a second. Let me get out of here. I, I gotta I gotta talk to you, boys. I gotta talk to you, boys. Now, I have seen these comments every day. Every day in YouTube, in Discord, Twitter, Reddit, Instagram. The reason why I was using the Trustmaster T. 300 RS was because because some of the games don't support this high-tech gear. If I play a setup today and tomorrow I want to play Forza, every other day I have to change the setup? No, I'm not gonna do that. Does that make sense, boys? Gonna go uh, switch the server. Gonna get out of this super over here. And online. Gonna join. I think I'm joining with a Ferrari. And we're gonna try to... What is happening in this lobby, by the way? Okay, I'm gonna try to roll out here. Oh my god, it's loud. Jesus. Let me just... Uh, I gotta focus on my wheel over here. How good good is the r16 is the question yeah we got an ak 458 over here ferrari 458 guys i'm on lowest lowest audio it's pretty rowdy dude okay the force feedback is so smooth i'll be honest trust master 300 is good but the smoothness and like the the instant instant torque is something you will notice with dd wheels boys this setup is gonna be put to test in car wrecks let me grab like a smooth vehicle over here. What is a good testing vehicle? Maybe just like R34. Oh, that looks sick. Hey, that's a good looking boy. Let's go something easy. Pacific Hills. Jesus has joined. Jesus has joined the lobby. That's great. Okay, I'm gonna try to pass everybody over here. 
Bro, what are you doing? Okay, here we go. Trying to pass everybody. Dude, the handbrake is so good, though. I think I'm most excited about the handbrake. Which, again, is not a handbrake. It's a sequential shifter. Okay, the force feedback looking good. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna pass you inside. Passing you inside. There we go. Passing you inside. And I'm gonna go straight over here. I'm gonna go straight. Okay, the handbrake, uh, handbrake is good. The shifter is a little too thick for me. It is really weird. Okay, the wheel is good. I mean, guys, you know... <laughs> I don't know what to tell you boys, direct draw wheel is too expensive. It's too expensive, but my god, even in car wrecks, it's butter smooth. It's so good. 360 by the way. Yo! Yo! That was good until it wasn't. Overall, Moza, love your setup. Love your setup, Moza. Send me, send me more. Uh, for casual sim drifters, it's overkill. If you're a sweaty sim racer, it's perfect. It's a great setup. Just if you're, uh, if you use a table setup, it's gonna be a little more uncomfortable. I'm gonna be keeping this setup though. Only changing this out for a Trustmaster shifter that has a better positioning over here. The rest of it will be same for a while because it does work in Comrex and a like and subscribe and as always stay sideways peace